show you how to make a little tiny coin pouch. And the pattern for this is on my blog. Uh, you can download the pattern and I'll show you how to sew it. Print your coin pouch template from the blog post and we're gonna cut out two layers from interfacing, lining, and our main fabric. So these fabrics are from my fabric line called Spotted and you can find them on Etsy and Amazon. Um, this is a zigzag black and white and this is the butterfly print. So Spotted by CK So you can Google it if you want to find these prints. And then I picked a contrasting zipper for fun. So I cut out two layers of a fusible interfacing and then I'm going to cut two layers of the lining fabric and two layers of the main fabric. So I'm just going to fold these fabrics um, so I can do them all in one. So I'm going to double this one over. So I'm going to do one, cut four fabrics at a time. Um, I like to use pins, but if you're using a rotary cutter, you can just kind of hold your template while you cut. Okay, so now we have four layers, two of each fabric plus two interfacing pieces. So I'm using ShapeFlex interfacing. It's a fusible ShapeFlex. Um, any kind of interfacing will work for this pouch. We just need a little extra stability. So I'm going to fuse it to the back of the, my main fabric pieces. And then if you have any extra interfacing, you can kind of trim it off just to straighten up your edges. Now that our interfacing is fused to the back of the fabric, the main fabric, we are going to use the zipper. And one, so you're gonna need one main, one lining and the zipper. And so what we're gonna do is put the zipper face down, zipper side down onto the main fabric at the top and line it up with the top of the main fabric. You can use any part of the zippers. I'm using a much larger zipper than we need, but by using the middle, I'll kind of avoid um, hitting these metal pieces with my sewing machine. So I'm gonna put it right here at the top and then put the lining over it and match up the lining at the top with the main fabric and then I'm going to pin it in place like this. I'm just going to pin all across the top to hold that there. And now we're going to sew across the top of this zipper, sandwiching the zipper in between. So I'm going to line my needle closer to the zipper teeth and butt the presser foot up against the zipper to make a straight line all the way across. After you've sewn that, we're gonna open the 
pouch ups and fold the main and lining down. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. First, we're gonna line up the main fabric so that it is at the zipper teeth, the same spot. So the top of the pouch lines up and then we'll put the lining um, behind it again. Pin that in place and stitch it up the same way you did the first one. Okay, so now we have the linings and the main fabric both attached to the zipper. And the first, the next step is to separate the main fabric, one piece of main fabric from all the other layers and press it. And then we're gonna top stitch along this line um, to make it look a little bit nicer. And that way the zipper teeth won't get caught up in the fabric too. So after you've done that top stitching, repeat the same method with the other side of the main fabric. Okay, the next step is to open the zipper part way. Um, you wanna open it enough so that it's out of the way of where we're gonna sew, so at least an inch over. We don't wanna hit that when we sew. And then we're gonna match the main line and lining, main pieces and lining pieces together. So we're gonna fold this on top of itself and match the main pieces up along all the edges and the corners. And then at your zipper, we're gonna make sure the zipper teeth are pointed toward the lining. And you just wanna make sure your fabric all lines up and that way we'll have straight edges. And then over here, again, we're gonna line the zipper teeth up facing the lining and make sure you're matching up your fabric edges here. And the next step is to sew. So we're gonna sew from the bottom of the lining all the way across over the zipper down to the point of the main fabric and then back stitch right here. So we're just sewing the side seams. After you've sewn both side seams, leaving the bottom and top edge open, you can remove your pins and we're gonna trim the zipper. This is a plastic zipper, so I can just use any scissors for this. If you have a metal zipper, you might wanna be careful using your sewing scissors, but I'm gonna trim off some threads, and then we're gonna turn this pouch over so that the lining is showing and we're gonna match up the bottom edges. So this will be the pouch inside out. And we're just gonna pinch the corners to give the pouch some dimension. So that, since this pouch is so little, we're kind of finishing it differently than I would a normal zipper pouch where we finish the outside edge first and then the lining, but we're gonna finish these layers together since, like I said, it's such a small little project. And this makes it really fast and easy and it, it gives it a nice finish too. So once you feel like you've pulled all the edges out, we're gonna match the bottom um, layers all along the bottom. And then we're just gonna pinch it flat. So we, want all, we don't want any puckers um, in the bottom of the bag. So if you can pull the fabric a little to get it to be flat with no puckers and then we'll pin it. And then we're just gonna sew right across the bottom of the fabric, same seam allowance, 3 8 inch, and top um, back stitch at the beginning and the end. So just one straight zipper line, right, um, stitching line right there. 
Okay, so the bag is closed at the bottom. And for this last step, you're gonna need a fabric marker and a ruler. So first we're gonna trim the bottom of the bag down just a little bit to about a quarter inch. If you want to finish the seam allowance at this point, you can either zigzag stitch it or serge it. Um, and then what we're gonna do is pinch the corner edge so that we're making kind of a triangle point. And we're gonna pinch the edge perpendicular to that seam. We're gonna draw a perpendicular line across this seam, 3 8 inch from the very corner where you did your stitching. So it's not a, a lot of a pinch, but it does make a big difference. Um, I like to use a marker and pin it as well. So I know where my stitching line is going to be. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. So we're going to pinch it, make sure to push the fabric out. And I'm going to pin it right now and then draw the line on top. So three eighths inch from our little point. And then we'll just sew right across those and back stitch. So now you have little corners that you can clip off. So we're just gonna clip that off about a quarter inch from the seam allowance, trim any threads. You again can finish those edges if you want and then we'll turn it right side out. And your little coin pouch is finished. So I like to push the zipper up to get all the corners and there you go. So you have a little tiny zipper pouch. This is perfect for coins so you don't lose them in your purse and they're really fun for kids too.